after every dawn ooh, ooh, ooh. We are dreamers of the Good morning. It is October 20th at 8 something, 8.35 I think. We are in California, but we're not in my home area yet because we had the craziest travel day yesterday. We should have been there already. Uh, my parents should have picked us up from the airport and taken us to my hometown, but that, that didn't happen. happen. So our first flight, because uh, we had a layover in Vegas, and our first flight to Vegas, it was easy peasy, it landed early, and then we had like a seven hour layover in Vegas. We thought we weren't gonna wanna do anything, but then we found out that the Vegas airport is very boring, it has like nowhere to chill, it has no chargers, so we were like, okay, maybe we will go somewhere. So we looked up Ubers to go to like a cafe or something in Vegas, and it was gonna be like 40 bucks for a 10 minute Uber ride. So we were like, mm, no, we're not gonna do that. So we sat in this airport for six and a half hours or so, just trying to charge our stuff. Sorry about the glare. I tried like every angle and it just, it hits weird at every angle. Then we go to board, finally, finally all the time passes and we go to board our last flight, the one that's actually gonna take us into California. And it's only supposed to be an hour and a half flight, super short. We get on the plane and five minutes before the plane is supposed to take off, they have us get off the plane and they don't tell us what's going on, nothing. We wait for about 20 minutes and finally the reps that are like at the front desk, they said that there was a maintenance issue with the plane and then a little more time passes and they tell us the flight's canceled. And we have been in this airport forever and we were supposed to be gone by 6, 11 p.m. Pacific time. And now it was like, I think like 7 or 7.30 p.m. So this flight was canceled and we had to scatter and we decided to go ahead and rent a car. <laughs> rent a car and just drive the rest of the way up because the next flight out to California would have not been until today, October 20th, at 6 p.m. And I'm already supposed to only be spending like four days with my family and I barely get any time with them. And I'm like, and then what if we wait that whole time at this airport and everything and then we can't get on that flight? So we were like, no, not gonna do that. I'm in a car rental right now. And we just decided to drive the way up. We drove for like two and a half hours last night, stayed in a hotel, slept for a few hours and then got up early and headed back out on the road. Everything's fine now. It's been extremely tiring, but it's a nice unplanned road trip, I guess. That's kind of just how you have to look at it. But everything ended up fine. We're fine. I'm okay. <laughs> My family's okay. So it's all good. But that was just the first time I dealt with that type of travel obstacle. Um, and I'm just even more tired now because of the way everything worked out. I'm excited to see my family. We still have, I think, like five hours, four hours, something like that left of driving. But yeah, I wanted to give you guys an update. I know it was a weird cut earlier from being in the Las Vegas airport to driving like super early in the morning, but I didn't want to film this until it was light out and you guys could actually see me because we were driving in pitch black for a while. So that's the update. We are en route, finally, to my hometown. Almost there.
you guys can see me, but the sun is super bright right now and I can't really see my screen. Now I can see, kind of, trying to follow it this way. But it's November 5th. First off, I went to California to see my family. Leading up to California, work, 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 work. Both YouTube and work. Had worked like every day and I was shoving in YouTube on my time off. And it was a lot. Then went to California, didn't stop. And I had the whole mishap, the travel mishap, didn't stop moving in California the whole time we were there. And then came back and immediately jumped into six straight days of working at my job job. And I'm like, oh my God. So instead of worrying today about like trying to get a video out tomorrow, because tomorrow would be Monday, it would usually be an upload day for me, spending the day going out and trying to enjoy northern Georgia during autumn because it's well known for its autumn colors. So that's what's going on today. It's kind of a free-flowing day. There's not really a huge plan. Not really sure what footage I'm going to get, but I'll get something to share with you guys because I'm sure you guys want to see the autumn colors too. So first we're going to get breakfast. So. Cue the breakfast scenes if I remember to take video of breakfast. <laughs> your eyes get some rest I'm by your side lay your head on my chest I know you've had It is November 10th at like 11.30 a.m. And I woke up early-ish this morning. <laughs> so that way I could get out of bed and clean because I needed to organize my space after being gone so much. It's just been a whirlwind and my room showed it. 
and I, <laughs> I went grocery shopping last night. Yesterday, I actually had a morning shift, so I had time in the afternoon to grocery shop, which I needed to badly. I also have my nail appointment, so I'm back to dark red nails. And then I also had a facial because whew, my skin is... My skin did not like me for the way I treated it the last month and a half, <laughs> being all over the place and it shows. Today, the goal was to finish scripting one of my videos and then film it later on in the day. I unfortunately don't know if that's gonna happen. Ugh, and I'm trying not to stress myself out, um, even though it's, it's just unfortunate that I miss so many weeks on YouTube because of like life and I feel like I'm doing everything I can and I can honestly say that I am doing everything that I can to keep my sanity, keep my happiness, but also be as consistent as possible on YouTube and also be a responsible adult with all of my other responsibilities. It's just a lot. So uh, I don't know. I'm not putting pressure on myself as much as possible because today is more than anything a day to get myself together, a day to myself, an errand day. And so right now I'm about to run to Ulta and to Target because I have stuff I need to pick up from there. And I have some self-care like beauty stuff I want to pick up so I can really take a super like nourishing, rejuvenating shower today because I haven't done one of those in a while, and man, it's gonna feel good when I do. <laughs> okay, we're back. There we go. All right. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Sorry for the mess to pair. It's gross, I need to wash it, but we'll get to that in a second. Target, I got some nail files because I always like having nail files on hand. Um, then I got some new eyelash glue because I needed eyelash glue badly. I've had the same two for I don't know how long. Sorry about my like lashes. Don't even ask, it was a whole struggle this morning with my lash glue. Lash glue ended up like all over the door of my bathroom just don't don't ask <laughs> then i got this friend french is the way french is the way that you say the name i guess um it's a cashmere vanilla hair body and linen mist spray it was in the clean section at target but i don't 100 percent believe that all of those products are completely clean so i'm not endorsing this um, but I really wanted something to use for like my hair and sometimes my clothes or my sheets. And I trust that this is cleaner than other options, but completely clean the way that I like my ingredients to be clean. I, I don't know. I don't know that for sure. Then I got the Honest Beauty Conjac Sponge. I love this and I haven't bought one in a while, but I was repurchasing them like crazy last year and I fell off of it. But I shouldn't have because my skin loves those, loves using that for exfoliation. Uh, new toothpaste. Again, I don't know if this is the cleanest, best toothpaste on the market. I just know it's cleaner. And for now, that works for me. I got some new lashes. These are the lashes I always get if I can. The Ardell Demi Wispies Natural. I find that they're perfect for me. So that's what I got from Target. Then from Ulta, I got a um, one of these big foot exfoliator file things because I have a very physically taxing job and I'm always on my feet. And so I develop a lot of calluses just in general. So I want to help keep some of those calluses at bay if I can. I got this e.l.f. glossy lip stain in Pinkies Up. I've been into glossy, like more natural lips lately, especially at work. And um, there was a girl that came in that had the most beautiful gloss on her lips and I complimented her on it. And she told me it was this product, not in this color, but it was this product. So I thought I'd get like a nude pink to test it out. No, not all my makeup is clean, like super clean. Like I ranted in a vlog, sometime a couple months ago or so i focus primarily on my intake um intaking clean whole foods as much as possible because i 
don't have the income currently to make sure I'm buying all of the cleanest, rawest of everything. I have to limit myself. There's some things that I have to let go or else I'm just gonna stress myself out all the time. And makeup is one of the things I kind of let go. I do have more expensive, like healthier skin products, like a skin tinted serum and a, and a concealer because those go directly on my skin. But as far as like lip stains, like lip products, and as far as like cheek stuff and whatnot, I don't prioritize those just yet. So I got a new bronzer because I've had the same bronzer for way too long. <laughs> I got the Milani bronzer in Sunkissed, and then I got the Milani um, cream blush in Cheek Kiss. I've never used this before. Then I got the Inner Sense hairspray. This is an expensive hair brand. My hair is another thing that I I prioritize clean stuff. Pretty much my shower products, my hair products, and my like body wash products. I prioritize. Um, more clean ingredients or better brands and inner sense is a great brand for clean hair care so I got this hairspray because I haven't bought a hairspray in a long time because I didn't know a clean one but I'm gonna try that one out I bought Arctic Fox um, hair color and ritual Arctic Fox is what I primarily use to revamp my hair when you guys see it coming out different colors it's just me playing with the semi-permanent Arctic Fox dyes that I own I actually ordered this dye in a smaller size online but it's not supposed to be here till Thursday and I didn't know that um, Ulta sold some of their most popular colors and I saw it at Ulta and I was impatient and I was like, I'm going to get it so I can put it on my hair today. <laughs> um, then I got these hand and foot masks. Again, I know these don't have the best ingredients, but this is not something I'm doing every day. This is simply a self-care purchase for a once in a while thing. Uh, but yeah, then I got a nail brush, <clears throat> a cheap little nail brush so I can keep my long nails clean and then i got this tea tree oil foot spray because i love tea tree oil and peppermint products for just my shower routine in general and since again i work a lot on my feet i thought i would love having like a nice foot spray to put on my feet after like a shower or before i put on my socks and my work shoes every day and yeah, I just thought this would be nice and refreshing to have and clean. So that is, yeah, that's everything that I purchased. Just wanted to, sh I don't know, for those of you who might be interested in like what I buy, I guess. But those are the things I purchased. It was a hefty purchase. It was kind of a lot of money that I just spent. But I do not buy self-care stuff like that. I really don't. So... This is, I guess, some of the stuff I decided to purchase when I want to treat myself, in case you're curious. All these right up bones are running wild on this old night. I'm sitting by the traffic lights. So I am back in my room after that super extensive shower oh my gosh so um, I let my hair soak in that mixture that I made of the hair dye that you saw and then I made myself food I made myself a cod salad while I was letting it sit and I had to run to Whole Foods to pick up an Amazon order so I ran Whole Foods with hair dye in my hair <laughs> then I took my shower it was one of those everything showers it was so great right now on camera this looks like super dark i can see in the mirror in the bathroom i can see hints of like deep purple honestly you guys loved my like purple hair my like more violety reddish purple that i had in my halloween videos and i loved it too but it's not what i wanted 
and it's really hard for me to find a good semi-permanent dye color like a red color that doesn't pull pink like a lot of the red dyes and even the purple dyes they have pink undertones so that color pulled more pink than I wanted it to and so I let it fade and then now I wanted to try it again but based on what I could see in the bathroom mirror it looks like it's going to be more purpley pinkish than I want it again <sighs> my ideal dream would be to have a really deep like burgundy wine type color but with how pink these colors are and how cool tones some of them are it just it's really hard to do that <sighs> like I want a color kind of like what's on my nails like a deep deep red burgundy but yeah I don't know if that's gonna happen but I'll show you guys if I remember I'll show you guys tomorrow when my hair is dry or maybe not tomorrow whenever the next clip plays out <laughs> But anywho, now I'm going to put on the foot and hand mask that I have and chill out. I also, before I did that, because I'm not going to be able to like walk around and do stuff with my hands, I made myself a little beauty smoothie. It has collagen, um, a little bit of orange juice, coconut water, spirulina, half a banana. Oh and some yogurt in it and it is delicious so i'm going to relax enjoy that and enjoy the rest of my evening because it has been great doing nothing but focusing on myself today because those days are very rare <laughs> for me until the next clip good night in the morning it's the next day and i'm not going to be really vlogging today i just wanted to show you guys the hair color because i actually remembered and i was talking about it last night showing you guys when it's dry so it didn't come out as dark and as purple as i was afraid that it might it came out a lot more like ruby violet i guess on camera it's looking a little bit more like rubyish, but uh, in person, it looks a lot more like violet. I just put my hair up for work and I don't want to take it back down, but you can pretty much see the gist of the color uh, this way. But I like it, but I still, it's still not exactly what I would have wanted, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get that color using the semi permanent dyes that I have. I would have to do like a deep dive and a deep search. For a semi-permanent dye that doesn't have like pink purpley undertones or blue undertones but for now this works um and it's a semi-permanent so it washes out in like three to four washes so this will probably be kind of where my hair color is for the next month ish and then i'll reevaluate from there <laughs> or maybe i'll just i don't know i'll play with the colors i have again it's not a big deal but I'll pull off this hair color while I have it because it is beautiful. It's just not exactly what I was trying to go for. <laughs> but anyways, I'll talk to you guys the next time I decide to pick up and vlog. But for now, i got to go to work. So goodbye.